And Marin is in the house. You may recognize her from the Melissa and Ty show on TCM. How are you? Good. How are you today? I am excellent. You're always looking dashing, and uh, that's something that you do as well. You do a lot of uh, fashion PR and um, consulting and all that as well, right? Yes, I do. I'm, I'm a beauty expert. So my job is actually to kind of find out what all the trends are happening and then, you know, tell everybody about it. So, you know, I'm out there trying everything. Cool. <laughs> trying all the newest makeup. Um, I'm actually trying some new health products here and, uh, and you know, see what, what, uh, what I really like. What do you feel is trending for this summer? Oh, that's a really good question. Um, well, we're, we're definitely seeing nude lips come back. I'm actually not wearing nude lips today, but we're seeing that a lot. So dark eyes, nude lips, that's really, really coming back. You're seeing that a lot on the models on the runways. Um, and it's, you know, it's actually easier for women to, to wear a nude lip, right? It's, you know, not going to get on anything. You can just throw a gloss on. So it's a really nice summer look, and you can take that day to night. Cool. What about uh, clothes? I mean, uh, you're wearing uh, some blue white. You're wearing yes. some stripes. Absolutely. Stripes are in everywhere. You cannot avoid stripes. I'm seeing them really from every designer. This is Ralph Lauren. Um, but I've, you know, they're, they're everywhere. So I'm really, you know, hoping since my closet is full of stripes right now that that's a trend that's going to continue. Right on. <laughs> cool. And let's talk about the Melissa and Ty show. Yes, absolutely. So um, Melissa uh, Rycroft, she was a Bachelor alum. Uh, you might remember her a few years ago. She won the Bachelor, but then he dumped her yeah. online. Live TV. Yes, it was very sad. Poor girl. It, you know, poor girl. Is then. she crushed? Well, like, does she have like trust issues now with guys? You would think, except that she found this amazing guy who she married and had a baby with, and they just moved to LA. Uh, so part of my job was actually to help her fit into the Hollywood scene. And you know, she's a little tentative about the whole idea of, of really, you know, becoming the Hollywood girl. She's an East Coast chick. Uh, she, yeah, she, you know, she she was a Dallas Cowboy cheerleader. So actually, she's been in Dallas for a long time. Oh, okay. So yeah, she's kind of got the southern feel. She's beautiful. She's a very natural girl. And she's a little scared of, you know, Hollywood and how overdone everyone is here. What would you, how do you how do you go about uh, trying to integrate someone to the West Coast, let alone LA mentality and lifestyle? I know. I think I think on the show we might have actually overwhelmed her a bit. But, you know, we we've taken her out to Beverly Hills luncheons. We've introduced her to plastic surgery trends, um, new makeup trends, new diet and exercise trends. So not that she needs any of it, by the way. She really doesn't. Yeah, but unfortunately, there are so many pretty girls in Hollywood, and they're all doing all that work. You know, they're all just trying to get one leg up on each other. So they're all doing the latest exercise routine or having the latest surgery. And you know, it's just letting her know that if you're going to stay in Hollywood and and you know pursue your Hollywood career, this may be something. That that you know you're gonna need to do. What's like uh, the in surgery right now? Uh, well, wasn't a, a couple months ago, wasn't it the Kim Kardashian butt? Yes. People were getting butt implants. Yes, butt implants are still huge. Okay. Well, yeah. what, but what's like the in thing right now? Um, butt implants are still huge. Um, you're seeing a lot of you know big lips are still huge, and you're actually seeing lip implants. So they're not just using uh, silicone and collagen. Um, they're actually using you know sort of little lip shaped inserts. <laughs> Yes, so that's really. I wonder how kissing someone with like an implant would be. Yeah, I haven't tried it, but maybe you know you'll let me know. <laughs> no, I'm definitely not signing up for that one. No, no, you might. Yeah, yeah. I, I think it would be squishy and not oh, good. Oh yeah, just no. But no, no, no. Boy. And then maybe after you kiss them, their lips kind of like move. The, the, it gets like stuck there or something. Right. I was like, let me just adjust it. Hold on a second. Exactly. Yeah. Mold it back into a lip shape. <laughs> yeah, that does not sound appealing at all. Um, and do you personally do any uh, new uh, exercises? Are you are you into something? The last trend that I heard uh, was the Zumba, Zumba dancing. Yes. I guess that was like a craze. What's yeah. what's the craze now? Well, I've done Zumba. Um, Pilates is still huge. Yeah. yeah. Um, I always tell everybody to do Pilates no matter what they're doing because it's a great adjunct to any exercise uh, routine. You know, there's a new trend that I'm seeing uh, seen, which is a surfing based uh, exercise program where it's literally exercise equipment that looks like a surfboard mm -hmm. and you know in 
instead of, for example, spinning, you're doing an, a class where everybody's up on a surfboard. Cool. Yeah, uh, you know, and it, it's great for your balance, obviously, and it's great for your leg strength. Something that people don't know is uh, a really interesting workout is trampolining. Oh, yes, yeah. And uh, they offer trampoline cardio classes, uh, and that's something that I think should be the next thing because, it's first of all, it's fun. You're bouncing around, and you're burning so much calories. Yes. Uh, is that something that you see potentially kind of growing? Yes, I have actually done the, <laughs> the tramp classes, and it's so much fun because it, it's a call back to your youth, to your childhood, but at the same time, you're getting that great cardio workout, so, you know, you sort of feel like, you, you know, that you, that you deserve to be there as an adult, even though it's kind of a kid's thing, um, and it burns so many calories. Oh, yeah. It's so hard, much harder than you think it's going to be. Oh, I know. I mean, I'm a huge cardio freak, and yeah. I was like winded 10 minutes yeah. into it, and I was like, oh. Right, because yeah. you really want to go all out, because yeah. it's fun. Yeah, yeah it exactly. Hi, I'm Ann Marin, and you're watching me on SLTV.